It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores yep. to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I think so. I mean, I, I think I'd leave it up to him. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. No, I'll, I'll keep it on her. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. The better choice. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. <sighs> Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. 
I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend the realm from wild oh. white At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. <laughs> and what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. <laughs> no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've done something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here from... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Slow. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Close up. No. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Knocking. <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're like. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Alright, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. 
You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Oh, shit. Swiped it right off him. Nice little thief. Don't tell, all right? I won't. Uh -huh. I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. What what you do is your business. You'll find out one way or another. I think. I mean. Take that! Take that! Oh, you you grab a practice sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well fall. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. <laughs> That's good. I like that. What else is around? Even sword training. Check the barrels. Yeah. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? Yeah. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Right. I can do this. Whoops. Try that again. <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> yourself, Tuttle. Uh. Uh. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'm not gonna be saying shit to you. Not bad. I'll give you the pleasure. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Lag. Come on. Come on, 
computer. You could do it. This is what I get struggling with a shit computer sometimes. My way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. It. Oh! I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? Uh, uh. 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 Hey, look. Fight. Fight! Yeah, get here they go again. Get up! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Ooh, I'm gonna get, go up there with Jon Snow. <coughs> No. <clears throat> this way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Ah. I don't know if I should have. So, I, uh. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. 
My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Oh. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Oh, that is true. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. Tyrion. My lord. Tyrion Ladies. is awesome. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the it finest clear. arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. Only an answer. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. Mm. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. I need to protect Imagine my family. Imagine their when I bring a forester to the table. Family. Thanks, Finn. It might be the Vin first Diesel. fun I've had in months. All right. My lady. Lord Tyrion.